Hello team, in this video, we're going to demonstrate the situation where we have both newer and older Meraki equipment deployed in the same network where there happens to be a maximum runnable firmware on the older equipment. Note that there is a documentation article uh, regarding firmware version restrictions that lists uh, both the minimum and the maximum runnable firmware if there is one for each model of Meraki equipment. In this case, the relevant equipment is going to be uh, an MR33 is one of the access points, which is listed as current, which means it can run any of the current stable, stable release candidate or beta versions. And in this example, we're also going to have an MR18 and an MR26, which have a maximum runnable firmware in the R26 firmware train. <clears throat> in this particular network, I have a head end firewall connected downstream to a stacked pair of MS350 switches, which in turn have three APs connected to them. Uh, Bugs is an MR18, Gossamer is my MR33 access point, and Marvin is an MR26, another one of the older access points that is going to have a maximum runnable firmware version. If I click into the firmware upgrades page under the organization menu and click into the middle tab for scheduled upgrades, then I can see my flex table with all of my networks and firmware status information. I can see that my Brooklyn HQ network is in fact configured for 29.7.1 wireless firmware. Now remember that with Meraki, one great convenience is that the firmware version is tied to the network, not the individual devices. The devices themselves simply become instances of the configuration and firmware that you have configured at the network wide level. So if I now go into the wireless access points flex table, I see that my MR18 and MR26 are in fact running version 26.8.3. Meanwhile, my MR33 is running the version that I have configured for the network 29.7.1. If I click into that individual access point, the MR33 and scroll to the bottom, I see that the firmware is reported as up to date with a current version of 29.7.1, as I would expect. Likewise, if I click into the MR18, I see that the firmware is being reported as being up to date with a current version of 26.8.3. I did not have to make any special arrangements ahead of time, no special considerations for this to happen. These firmware upgrade barriers for old equipment are automatic and seamless. If you click into the release notes for any particular version of firmware, in this case 29.7.1, the release notes will typically show you a legacy product notice, as we see here. Uh, finally, I'll mention that uh, ideally, of course, we would like to have the same firmware version running across every piece of equipment in an entire network at the same time. If a piece of Meraki equipment is end of support and no longer supported, you can still, of course, keep that equipment in service. However, the caveat is that you might have a maximum runnable firmware on a subset of your equipment, and therefore a potential feature gap or a potential security concern with uh, end of sale equipment that is still running older firmware. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.